Hi everyone, thanks for coming in for a video today. We're gonna open a great big fat heavy jewelry jar straight from the Goodwill. It was quite expensive. I hope it is worth every dime or at least half of that dime. But uh, that's what they're ranging about $80. Luckily, sometimes I do get some that are in the $40 range, but uh, we'll see what happens this coming week when I go look for them. On Wednesday, I hope to find some that's discount day. Welcome into the channel, guys. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you like to look at jewelry as much as I do. I love looking for it in obscure places like Goodwill, garage sales, estate sales, your mom's closet. Wherever you can find it, that's where you need to go look for it. We never know what's in these jars. We call them jars even though they may be in a bag. But that's definitely a great big treasure hunt, and I hope you are in the mood for one. I always am. They're very relaxing for me. Whether I find something really valuable, as I have, I've found everything from Tiffany to Bulgari to Yerman, and I have found lots of trash, including hardware, <laughs> nails, literally, and all kinds of things. So I hope this is a nice one. Let me know how the lighting is today. I tried to rearrange a few things here and there. So um, I hope the lighting is a little better than it had been, and uh, we'll see what happens. But we're going to dig into this one. Again, it was $79, and um, this one is tight, nice and uh, packed really tight. I have to be really careful when I get in here because I don't want to catch any kind of a, I don't know, a strand of something or, you know, things can be pretty delicate. I hope if you are new to the channel, guys, that you take the time to subscribe. I think you'll enjoy looking at jewelry with me. I also like to take you on ride-alongs. We can go thrifting together. I usually try to pull a camera out. I've also uh, lately gone to a couple of pawn shops, so I'm hoping to take you there as well. And if you do like that kind of thing, let me have it. Uh, let me have a thumbs up so I can know that that's what you want. Do you like the ride-alongs? Do you like the jewelry jars more than anything? Give me a comment as well if you can. And also let me know how this stream is going. I am live now, but I will be recording more videos for you because I know these take about an hour to do. So if you have an hour to spare, let's do it. But sometimes I will record some so we can get through them a little faster. Okay. So I'm going to make a little incision here. Oh, and if you when you subscribe, which is right over there on the right, and it's always free, be sure and hit the notifications so that you will be notified whether I'm going live or uploaded a recorded video, and you'll never miss another video. So be sure and do that. And more than anything, hit that thumbs up. As soon as you walk in the door, or if you're going somewhere, do it before you leave. Look at that. It's just gonna, it's just gonna vomit right here. Lots of jewelry coming out. Again, we do find broken pieces, crafter pieces, but we just don't know. It's a true treasure hunt, true gamble, and that's what we like to do. I made a lot of room in my table too. I hope you like the new backdrop and everything. So I pulled everything kind of back and away from the front so I won't be dropping as many things. I actually found a broken 14 karat gold chain from the other jar. Now I don't even know where it fell to, but it was broken. It didn't have the uh, clasp, but still you can sell it for scrap. All right, wonderful. I'm so glad that, that it looks okay. Thank you so much for the thumbs up, guys. Hi, Tammy at Wings of Love Treasure. Hey, Perla, how are you? Leona's here as well, and Amy and Vanessa. Hey, Carol and Joby. Glad you're doing a jewelry jar. I lit watching you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Patty Kent, Carlene, Barbara Thompson, how are you? Finally made it to a live. Awesome. See, I like to vary the time too because I'm off for the summer, so now I can come on at different different hours, not just eight o'clock in the evening always. I know everybody has different schedules. All right, this is pretty cool. It's a blue crackle finish on that. 
And uh, it's kind of cool. I like it. It's probably too big for me. Bangles are often big for me. What a pretty color, though. I like that. So it doesn't look too dark. It looks dark to me. I don't know why. I practiced and practiced, and then <laughs> I did a test run and everything, and now it looks dark. All right, here's a little messy earring. It looks like it's plastic. It looks like we have some body jewelry, too. There. I'll match that up in a little while. Here's a stretch. It um, It's okay. It doesn't have any wear on it. It doesn't seem to be too worn out. Looks good. Good. Thank you, Patty. But it's big on me, too, but it's so cute. It's very cute. A little on the big side for me. Let me see where I can put this so it doesn't get in my way here. Oh, these are nice. Oh, yeah. This is a nice bracelet. Look at this one. This one um, is, like, not quite lamp work. It might be the uh, InDesign type, where it has the glass within glass there. It's pretty interesting. And it's stretched, too. I like that. I like the colors on that. It's very cute. Oh, I forgot to show you my rings. Let me show you real quick. People like to see them. This is green onyx. This is my wraparound ring. This is another wraparound ring. This is my Trinity. Uh, 18 karat gold, another wrap, a copper wrap, and my wedding rings. Yo, <laughs> you guys rarely see me <laughs> wear my we wedding ring only because this one's big and I don't really like to wear the ring in the front, but I do. And then it all kind of fits funny. I don't know. It's gotten a little big on me, but I do love it. And um, I love this ring. It's so cool. It's pave and it goes halfway. So it kind of looks like an eternity band. It's pretty cute bands but they're not very comfortable do you guys find that this is a nice one wood bangle i love that that is pretty it still has a price on it three dollars that's very nice this would be nice to craft if i if i knew how to paint if i was an artist i do some kind of little picasso or an impressionist or something on there that would be so cool to do that do any of you guys do any of that? Jewelry crafting or painting? This is pretty too. Hey, Leona. Hi, Liz. This is cute. This is those tiny little seed beads kind of metal. I love that. That's very pretty. I like it. I don't usually like these kind with the with the beads are sometimes they're uncomfortable this one's nice i really like that and let's see what else we have another stretch with a heart i don't think that's sterling but let me get my loop i know it was here somewhere here it is sometimes the charms are sterling it's a pretty one too I always like those little mill green. No, it's just um, silver tone, but it's nice. Looks like jasper as well. It's heavy. These are genuine stones. There's some moon glow. I think some kind of smoky quartz colored beads as well. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I like this one even though it's full of hair. It feels like wig hair or horse's hair. <gasps> this is so cool. I love these. This is Mother of Pearl on brass. No signature on it, but it's darling. I really like it. I like the way it's graduated. Look at the design. That's And it's not a very big one. That's pretty. It looks kind of nice with my little daily stack. I did change my bracelets and wore my vintage watch today, my little diamond boulevard that I found in a jar, at the, a, little, a small little Goodwill jar, too. I think I only paid 20 It's when they used to make the variety of sizes. Goodwill hasn't done that in a while. They used to make small ones for $20, and then they would increase a little bit. 
Do you guys find jars in your area? I know some people don't, but I heard they're coming into a lot of places too. Like Miss Vanessa is now finding them and she never found them, right, Vanessa? These are those really um, kind of inexpensive ones. They usually get bent up right there in the jar. So I usually put these in a crafter lot or a child's lot if they're not too messed up. Oh, here's a pretty one. Little loose here, I'll put that in a bead lot. There's something coming apart there, but these are glass, crystal-like, peridot color, beautiful color. But I would hate to take that off one day and it wind up all over the floor. So I'm going to put that in a bead lot. Yeah, but they're so cute and they've been nice, Vanessa, even if they're small. Oh, look at this. Look at this little branch coral looking design. <laughs> it looks like it got bent up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that got bent up probably in the bag. That thing was packed so much. And the thing about these types of, yeah, it's even cracked. It's going to craft a lot. But that would be cute. Look, see it's cracked right there. You could get a piece of it. See how it cracks easy? You could get a piece of it and hang that somewhere or even put, you know, like something around it. And voila, you have a bracelet. People are crafty. I'm putting that in the crafter lot. I sold a crafter lot, so they're getting some good pieces. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you're ever interested in anything you see, I don't sell directly. You won't see prices or anything like that. But send me a screenshot of anything that you are interested in, and we can talk about it. Plus, I also do an auction over on Facebook. That's a piece of um, dyed howlite. Over on Facebook every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. And all the information is always in my description box as well. It's a free group. It's a private group. But it is free and it's only need to um, agree to the terms. Boy, that was hard to put on. But this is an interesting metal. This one's stretched a little bit better than the other one. I wonder if they just repurposed that too. It almost looks like they repurposed it and added that little highlight there. It's, it's a nice one though. I like it. Very cool. All right, we got a lot of little tidbits here. Single earrings. I'll put them aside. Hey, Joby. Look at that. That's a nice piece. Looks a little Moorish or something. Yeah, that's going in a crafter lot, too. That's a nice piece. Oh, look at this. This is real leather. This is cute. I watched this guy today. He was wearing a, a necklace from, it was Hermes, of course, Hermes. But it had, it was just like this, looked like a little dog collar, but he wore it like this. Then he kind of had the little tongue hanging a little bit longer. It really looked nice on him. I don't know about this. I guess you could put a watch in it. It is real leather, too. It's not bonded or anything. So that's a nice piece. You could slide that coral thing through it if you really wanted to. Okay. Let's see. Here's another one of these memory coils. This is kind of a neon green. That's pretty. What else we got? Some broken... Well, it's not broken, but it's a single. I thought it was because I saw this little piece. That's to something else. That's a pretty one. Mother Pearl. Very white. I have some that are abalone, but that was mother of pearl. Oh my gosh. Okay, that little necklace here that was tangled up with something is a mustache. <laughs> Remember the mustache craze a few years ago? That's what it is. And let's see, a watch, broken watch, but it's running. Ah. Look at that, and it's at the correct time, two hours, I think it's California time, right? 4.15, Casio, this is a good watch. Maybe that can go on another, I'll put in the watch lot, because it's a good watch. Casio is a good watch, and it's running. Oh, look at this, it's Eeyore. My middle daughter loves Eeyore, still. <laughs> She's 31. What is this? Oh, some little feet. I guess it's kind of maybe March of Dimes. This looks like the March of Dimes symbol or something. Not sure. 
and a little gold tone ring, some puka shells, not quite puka, but definitely shells. These are puka shells over here. These are pretty. That'll go in my little hippie lot. I do a beach lot, hippie lot collection. I'll put that in there. And look at that. I'm going to have to get the scissors if this doesn't come out. Oh, of course we get these shells. These come in these jars all the time. I hadn't seen them in a while, though. Kind of missed the sound. Little pearl. That's interesting. Oh, I'm so glad this thing is not tangled up with everything. These are so awful when they... My dream is saying it's out of power. That's so crazy. I hope it isn't. Excuse me a minute while I adjust the battery on here. I don't know why it's saying it's low on power, but you guys or anything all right this is a pretty nice bead on here I'm gonna cut that bead off of there oh no it was an earring <laughs> that's just an earring the rest of it's fine that's so crazy all right there we go Leona did I say hello hello to you thanks for being here Danae I'm glad you're here that's a single earring that's a single earring, lots of single earrings. And um, I guess we had seen these a minute ago, yeah. These are truly puka shells, and these look vintage. These are awesome, really awesome. The barrel clasp gives it away. Look, they even finished it with some extra beading there. These are cool. I like those. See, now they make them kind of like this really white out of regular shell. I don't know what's so different about the puka, but they are. They even feel smoother. Very nice. Hey, Miriam. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to try listing those puka. They had been selling last year. Everybody likes the retro, the vintage stuff, rather. And they had been selling. I'll have to try it again. My daughter finally decided to sell more things that, from my closet. Well, my eBay closet in the garage. Uh, she's been selling a lot of the surfer wear. That's pretty. Like the jams. Do you guys remember the... I think it's called jams. They'd make those beautiful Hawaiian dresses. Or not Hawaiian, but surfer. Surfer fashion. That sells. That's a pretty one. Looks kind of like that opalite stone. That's pretty. I was thinking Banana Republic or something on that. Because it's made well. And it's nice and heavy. Where'd this tassel come from? A little tassel was in there. Is it blurry now? Uh-oh. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder why. Well, we are storming. That might be it. Uh, we've only been on 18 minutes. Let me know if it clears up. Here's more body jewelry with smiley faces. If it doesn't, I'll cut it short and record it and bring it back to you in part two. Okay, so let me know. It's nice there, Vanessa. Good, good. Okay, well, we'll continue. Maybe it was just a little spotty. We are starting to storm, though. I mean, I don't hear it yet, but it's really dark and windy. So let me try to rush a little bit. More single earrings, guys. Lots of single earrings. Hi, Pat. Thanks for letting me know, Pat. Um, more kid jewelry. I definitely always throw this type of stuff in a kid's jewelry lot. These little, not the black, but the other one with the little owls and infinity symbols. This is pretty cute. You know, it's more like for the little teen girls. More single earrings. More beachy stuff. This one's cute. Got some different looking beads on that one. Very nice. Oh wow, the skeleton crew. That is so cool. Is that a movie? Does anybody know? <laughs> I don't watch movies. I don't know one movie for the, from the other. 
I had to laugh the other day. I asked, uh, I don't know why I was talking with my coworker about movies. And because um, I don't watch movies. I said, when's the last time you watched a good movie? I don't recall watching a good movie, especially not in a theater. And he said, I watched The Bad Seed last night on TV. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> so, <laughs> that thing's about 60 years old. What's the last movie you guys watched? Oh, my goodness. This is nice. This is brass. But that's what that reminded me of. That It just seems like it would be a movie title. <laughs> Do you guys know? 50 um, De Uno Jewelry. I haven't. Where is it? Um, is it high-end? Is it nicely made? Sterling or what? Look how pretty this one is. I like when they do a little bit more thought with the statement pieces. That's very, very nice. The color is pretty. I like the little kind of mill grain work on that. That's really pretty. I've never heard of that one, Vanessa. Interesting. Original Time Machine. Ooh, that sounds like a good one. I think I remember seeing one called the Time Machine, but I'm not sure if it was called the original Time Machine. But yeah, you gotta I gotta go back in in, you know, antique movie almost. Honestly. I mean I maybe I don't know, they just movies just don't come to mind. Maybe some from the 90s or 80s, like Terms of Endearment. Look at the little teacup or something like that. It's got coffee in it or tea. It's heavy, enameled. It's so cute. No, it's a lot. No, it's a, what is, what's it called? Macchiato, right? No, no. What's the other one? Latte. Cappuccino. That's what it is. It's a cappuccino. This thing looks like sterling. Let me look at the chain. I love the cup. It is not. It's silver tone. It's precious. It is weighted and beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's going to go in the kids' lot. That'll be fun. Little flag pin. Yeah, I, I just can't think of any of that. I, I like Terms of Endearment. That's one movie, if I'm flipping a channel... And that thing is on. I gotta stay till the end. I don't know why I like to cry to that movie. It's ridiculous. And I normally don't like sad movies. I really don't. But there's just something about that one. And when she's yelling at the nurses, and I'm just, oh, I just can't stand it. I gotta watch it again. I torture myself. This is pretty too. It's got some coral actually. Some little angel skin coral in that one. Nice piece. Oh, now we get some barking. Top it all off. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. Oh, this one's pretty. Stop! This one's really, really nice. This looks like a Whiting and Davis or something to me. Look, it's got pink rhinestones. It's got AB rhinestones. Aurora Borealis. Very, very cool. Bangle. It's a little big on me. It's so nice. Could be a, no, it's not a 1928. It doesn't have the scroll anywhere, but that's beautiful. Hi, Rianne, how are you? The Skeleton Troop. See, I knew it was a movie. It was a 2009 movie based on Stephen King, of course. Okay, that's what I thought. It had to be. Here's another little bangle with rhinestones. Here's a cute brooch. It's definitely, oh, I think it it's even signed, and it's a C-class. It's interesting. Kind of a little abstract design. Made in France. Awesome. That's cool. That's really pretty. Look at that. It's a really rich, buttery gold, too. Look. Made in France is all it says. And it's a C clasp. Hmm. I've never really seen brooches that just say made in France. Barrettes from the 70s. Hair accessories from the 70s. Yes, but never a brooch. More of these little thin bangles. Hi, Sanja. Thanks for joining us. Guys, if you're just joining us, I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Be sure and subscribe if you love to look at jewelry. We do treasure hunting here all day long when we can. I got this beautiful, big, giant jewelry bag, jewelry jar. 
mystery jewelry. We don't know what's in it. At the Goodwill for $79. This is a nice bangle. Clamper, I think. This is nice. This looks gothic. Isn't that pretty? I like the way it rests. I really like the way that looks. So if you do like that kind of content, be sure and subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, share the, the video if you can. That was a nice one. Look at this. This is... Um, I don't believe it's a geode. I don't know. It could be. Looks more like gloss to me. Could be an agate, though. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, I see some rutilation and things. It's pretty. Maybe a, a dyed agate there. That's nice. I like that. And this is a cool bracelet with another Aurora Borealis. Cute heavy too. This looks like something Juicy would do or something. You know that chunky soft look. That's very cool. And then this one here. No signature on that. Well made though. That's a nice little piece too. A little floral motif. Oh wow look at this ring. Cool. This looks like that uh, Jan Michaels I think it's called out of California but his are usually um, adjustable this looks like a really small size oh it's not that small maybe not then it's probably a, a seven there it is oh it fits it's kind of a chocolate brown interesting statement ring there oh look at this one copper too I think it's soldered though I like the ones I can adjust. Yeah, this one's soldered. That's pretty. I think it was gold um, tone, and now the copper's coming through. I like it. That's very nice. Kind of big, though. Oh, I didn't show you this ring, did I? I'm wearing um, green onyx. I thought I showed all my rings in the beginning. People like for me to show my rings in the beginning. That's why I do. <laughs> They've requested it. Anything involving jewelry. <laughs> Isn't that bangle cute? I love it. These are interesting. These are copper too. I sure hope we get the match to that one. We haven't really matched up any earrings. Here's a little gold bobby pin with a pearl. That's a pretty one. And I think we had this one. Put it over there for now. More body jewelry. What is this? Ooh, look at this mesh. Oh, man, this is nice. This is a mesh of curb chains. Great condition on this one. This is cool. This is really cool. Look at that. It even drapes very nicely, too. I guess it would sit a little better on your neck than this little display, but that is really, really nice. It's a nice weighty chain. It's in excellent condition. This is pretty. This would be great to work with, too, if people do jewelry. They could maybe pin set some charms all through it. Wouldn't that be cool? That's nice. Here's another piece that will likely be put in a crafter lot because it's a little over stretched already. Some earrings, those are pretty. Single earrings, pretty rings. Another copper ring, but this is, um, yeah, this is genuine copper, but it's been plated with gold tone. Hi, I Spy. How are you? You used to call that biker jewelry? Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. I like this little purple one. I keep saying I'm not going to show you the single earrings, but I can't help it. That's a pretty ring. 
Here's another one. Some broken pieces and strands of who knows what. Oh my gosh, have you run into these huge long earrings? I know iSpy does uh, videos as well, guys. Check her channel out if you can. Have you run into those in your jars? These are super, I mean, these are like 12 inches, no, 10 inches long. Easy. And that's the top. Look at that. <laughs> I've run into a few, honestly, the last couple of jars. I have ran into those. They're so interesting. This is a nice one. Look at this one. This has a little bit of a breastplate look to it. Look at that. That's in great condition, too. No maker on it. I can't see a maker on it, but that's amazing. That is fun to play with. I feel like little matchsticks. Look at that. You have... Oh, my gosh. They're so interesting. I've actually seen... Some celebrities wearing them, but um, it's interesting. They're popping in into the jars. Here's a nice little bangle. It's just silver tone, but it's pretty. Little kid jewelry. Oh, this was kid. This I call this kid jewelry. It's just like a little spiral or something. But look at this little. What is that? Oh, these are the ones that pop onto. What is it? A belt? I forgot. Somebody told me the name and everything, but I forgot. This is a nice crafter piece, too. That is glass. Look at that. That's really interesting. Here's a big piece. Is it still looking fairly clear, guys, or did it get blurry on me again? Hey, Guillermo, how are you? Happy Monday to you as well. I like these. I like these brutalist pieces. They're pretty. A lot of people don't like, you know, I know the patina is hot to leave on the um, people. Some people prefer it, especially if you're reselling an older piece. I think it really only applies to older pieces myself. But um, also on the brass, people have told me, please don't clean it. When you send it, they like it to get that patina. Interesting. More singles. More singles. Lots of uh, DNA pops off these jars, too, guys. I'm not sure what this is. It kind of looked like it wanted to be an Alex and Annie, but it doesn't say anything on it. Some little earrings. All right, let's pour out some more. See what else pops out of here. I have to look all around me, though. The other day, I just mentioned I found a broken 14 karat gold chain. Nice and weighty, though. Not a real heavy one, but I think it was about uh, four grams or something, and I didn't even see it till after I finished the video. This is a broken rosary necklace. So, I think it's a necklace. Yeah, it has the, the clasp. So it's missing the, um, the last strand, which I think is four beads or so, and then the cross. That's pretty, though. Looks like it's just um, gold tone. So I'll likely put that in a crafter lot as well. Thank you, Guillermo. I appreciate that. Look at this. I saw this through the bag. I like that. I love this uh, alambre st uh, design. Very Moorish. This is an awesome bangle. I love the colors on that. Green, gold, red, little white. That's beautiful. Some gold as well. Not just the metal, but lots of detail designs. That's beautiful. It's nice. It's kind of puffy. And here's something that's going straight to the craft lot. I'm not even going to wait to find a match on that. Here, these, oh, this is different. I thought this were, was the type that you kind of have to roll on, but this one actually stretches. It's actually coiled. And it's all seed beads. I've never seen one like that. That's different. Another stretch. Acrylic. I think this is part of that body jewelry we found a minute ago. How do I feel about selling rosaries? 
In general, selling rosaries is fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. To me, a rosary is, is um, really, it's not, uh, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but I've directed it to a priest as well. And uh, it's to be used. So if someone can use it, what's wrong with, uh, with selling it? They sell them at the Catholic <laughs> stores and Bible stores and everywhere. Yeah. This is a tiny little one. Oh, it's an earring. <laughs> I thought it was um, a bangle. That's an earring. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. Copper tone, I believe. It's, I think the chain may be copper, but the rest of it looks like copper tone. Or maybe I have it backwards. I'm not sure. I'll have to test that because that's pretty. I like it. I love copper. I like the color of copper. I like the way it looks. Do you guys like copper? Or no? I know some people can't stand that it turns their skin green. If it does. Mine seems to do it for a while, but then it stops. I don't know, some kind of ring. Oh my goodness, is this for Barbie? <laughs> how cute is that? See how they put the craziest things in these bags, guys? Toys, okay, come on. That's cute, though. It made me giggle. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so glad you're here, Aida Morales. How are you? I'm, I'm glad that you caught it live. I'm going to do some recorded videos in a little bit, too, though. So look for some more jewelry jars and um, coming up this week. I just want it to go live to uh, kind of test my lighting and everything right now. This is pretty little glass jar, jar, glass bead. I'm thinking jewelry jars, glass bead. And these, I think, yeah, they're glass, too. I think I'll put that in the hippie lot. That's pretty. More single earrings. Another bangle. More bangles. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Look at this little twist back vintage piece. Interesting. Let me put these little bangles. These are in nice shape, though. Enameled and gold. This is just a little black bead. I don't see... Well, there is. It looks like it might be Napier. Let me check. Yeah, it is. It's Napier. Interesting. Glass earring there. Oh, look. This matches the bangle. The first thing we pulled out, that bangle, was this little crackle thing. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Another single earring. I think I'll throw that one in a crafter lot too. Oh, I like this. This is cool. I like things like this when they mix, the, they juxtapose different elements like twine here <laughs> or whatever it's called. Just some kind of yarn and rhinestones. I think that's so cool when they do that. That's pretty. I like a little twist in the design. This is interesting. Oh, it's broken though. Oh, those were pretty earrings. They're not marked. Maybe we'll find the pieces though. If not, we'll put it in a crafter lot. Look at this. Anchors. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is so pretty. I love nautical themes too. Good condition too. Very nice. I got an awesome brooch lot. Did you guys see my brooches from Makeup Zombie? Uh, these two came from Makeup Zombie. But I also got a, I think it was a Napier or a Monet that was an anchor. That's why I was thinking about it. It's so cool. But this one doesn't have a mark on it. It's well made. I'm sure it's a good brand. It's got nice weight. Love that. More shells. And this is outstretched. Pretty shells in here, though. So I'll put that in the craft a lot, too. And a single earring. What is this? 
Thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to be sure to get all notifications. You can pick to get all notifications so you don't miss another video. I like this. I love the colors, rose, red, peachy, and then gold. And look, I love this. I love these kinds of beads. It's a nice look. Who is that? Napier. Oh, that's a newer Napier. It says Napier, now we know, established in when? 1922. I thought it was well made. That's very nice. Yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and um, hit the notifications as well. I really do appreciate that. It helps grow the channel. And that's always fun to have lots of people here watching. This is a small bangle, I can tell, but it's very nice. It looks like painted wood, some kind of wood. See, it barely wants to. It's pretty, though. I like when they fit. It's a nice color. And we did get the match to the earring here. More earrings. This one's tangled up. Okay, there. wow, this is heavy, too. Go sit. Thank you. I like when you listen. That's my dog. Oh, look at this. It's a bee. It's a bee. That is so cool. I like that. That's an interesting bracelet. I'm really liking the bees lately. <laughs> he was barking a minute ago I'm not very happy with him <laughs> no I, I don't mean to be like that my friends tell me don't do that he's a dog he's supposed to be barking but look at these hoops not when I'm live though <laughs> these are awesome this is um, looks like mahogany jasper in there I was going to say tiger eye but looks like mahogany jasper and I think the others are acrylic. They probably would have been too heavy. And these black ones are not acrylic, but these gold ones are. Those are some awesome hoops. I hope we find a match to those. That would be awesome. More singles. Nice hoops on these hearts, too. Oh, these are huge and beautiful. Look at these. Big gold hoops. Very nice. And they're in good condition. Little twisted rope there, twisted wire. He just, I know, he does. I'm gonna have to. Have you guys seen my old videos where he would pick the winners of my giveaways? I'll have to link it below because he was really good at it. <laughs> That's a big stretch ring there. Huge. Yeah, those were older videos. I think they're about five years ago or so. <laughs> Every time I hit, I think, another 100 milestone or something, I would do a giveaway. And he would choose them. I put everybody's. That's when I had, you know, like I said, less than 1,000. And I'd put everybody's name printed out in a jar. And he would literally bite it out. Pick one out with his mouth. Those are earrings, too. Hopefully, we'll find the match. But um, I don't know if he'd do it now. It's been a while. He hasn't had any practice. Hey, this matches the, the necklace. <laughs> What is this? This is metal. This was made by Zach in 2015. Wow. That must have been um, high school class or something. What do you think? Looks like a little decoupage. Oh, <laughs> this is just like a little washer. That's so cool. Zach made that just a few years ago. <laughs> Here's another hippie beach bomb. Oh, I love this one. It's a closed shell, too. This one's pretty with some little coconut shell beads as well. Very nice. Tangle earrings. Lots of single earrings. This is pretty. Oh, this one lifts up so you can wear it with your pearls or other beads. That's very nice. It doesn't look like any rhinestones are missing either. Look at that. 
I like that. Here's another heavy metal biker jewelry or whatever. This is cool. Look at that. It's just a knot of curb chains. And I think that's the intention. I don't know, because it's pretty knotted. And then you just kind of put that on there. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll get Robert to untangle that. That's interesting. A watch, pretty watch. Let's see what name that is. That's definitely 1960s, 70s. This is a Seiko stainless steel. Gold tone, I'm sure. It's so pretty, though. It's a little bit bigger than my Bulova. The face, anyway. This one is so tiny, I can barely see the face. <laughs> but I love it. Mid-century. Okay, what is this? This is that piece of the Seiko. Maybe we can fix it. That Seiko is running, that men's. Plastic. Hoop. Craft. These are cute. More beach jewelry. Coconut shells or something there. Oh, these are nice, the black ones. Again, I don't think we've matched but one pair of earrings. It's crazy. And this thing's tangled. What's the deal? Okay. Pretty design. Love that. Black enamel. Hope we find that one. Another mother... Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, these are nice. And these glow so nice when you wear those. Look how precious. I hope we find the others. If not, that would make a great little dangle kind of a charm on a necklace, wouldn't it? Mother of Pearl leaves there. That's really pretty. Okay, I think we did have these. Yeah, here they are. So I match those up. I'll put those there. Those are nice. Another bangle. This one's pretty. Brass. Nice etching all around it. A little scroll work. Some flowers, too. Very pretty. Tiny ding there, but no big deal. That one's very nice. Another ring. Kind of like the one I'm wearing over here. We found these two rings so far. Little costume pieces. They're cute, though. Here's another ring. This is, looks like stainless. I don't see a mark. Looks like stainless steel or something. It's just a band. And what is this? Bracelet watch. It's broken. No, it hooks on right there. Cool. It's like a little bracelet watch. That's cool. That's very nice. Okay, I'll put it in my watch lot then. Faceted moon glow. I don't think I've ever seen faceted moon glow beads. That's pretty. Let's see what the name is. Uh oh Sorry about that. P. It's just got like the symbol P on it. Hmm. I don't recognize it. Let me know if you do. Here's some um, faux turquoise chips bracelet there. Boy, we got the beach lot this time. I'm just, here's another one. There's like tons of these. So we're going to fill up that lot for sure. Have I seen the bucket list? Are you talking to me? Are we still talking about movies? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Oh, look at this copper ring. That's cool. And that's mother, I mean, uh, moonstone in there. These rings look like they're really small, and I bet they aren't. No. They're like sixes or sevens. Let me try it on. Ah, oh, it's that crazy size. It's probably a six, and it doesn't fit me anywhere. That is so cool, though. It looks like, um, it could be turquoise. It doesn't quite look like howlite. You let me know. Definitely, um, 
I think it's actually rose quartz and not moonstone. Let me let you take a good look. I don't know, something about it doesn't look like um, like dyed halite. Could be a reconstituted turquoise, but... And the center one is definitely rose quartz. I thought it was... Or it could be moonstone, but I don't see any, any flash at all. And I think I see a little pink. So I will go with moonstone. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think that is. And I will pull back a bit. Okay. It's nice, though. I'll have to look and see if I don't see a signature on that. Because Bars does a lot of work with brass. And Selpata does, too. I've seen a few of their things in brass and copper. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. That's very nice. Too bad it doesn't fit me. It's too... Oh, I hate that. Size 6 does not fit anywhere, especially a long ring like that. That's not going to fit. Another little kid piece. This one's cute. I'll put that in the kid lot, too. So those rings are nice so far. We've gotten some interesting rings. More of these. And this is going in a crafter lot. Uh, crafter lot. It's just a... Well, it's an earring. We'll see if it shows up. More earrings. Lots of single earrings. Lots of... And some of these are copper, though. Some of these rings. More of these coil ones. That's just a little broken earring, I think. So I'll put that in a crafter lot, too. And more bangles, another watch, more kid jewelry, stretch at that. I think this is a hair accessory, actually. Single earring, Alex and Annie, I think. This one's cute. No, it's another brand. It's cute, though. It's just got rings and a feather, and it's got a nice wide hook on brace. So this one's actually signed right there. Let's see what it says. Looks like a signature. Maybe it isn't, but we'll see. Boy, I'm going blind because it is not a signature. It is brass though. Sure look like a signature. No, it's just a bunch of little dinghies. <laughs> That's so funny. Unbelievable. Very cool. All right. What else? Is Don Maserati in here? I hear everybody saying hi to Don. I hear. I see. <laughs> I can't hear you guys. <laughs> Let me look in a minute and say hello to some people. This one's cute. Tons of these. I'm telling you, it's the beach lot. We're not that close to the beach here. Galveston is the nearest one. All right, let me say hello to a couple of people. Hey, Don. How are you? Glad you're here. I, saw, I thought it was another Don, but I'm sure glad you're here. Julie, how are you? Sandra, Liza. No, Lizzie. Looks like Rose from here. Is that, that's what I think, too. It's a cool ring. Too bad it's too small because that is really awesome. I like it. But it doesn't fit. Oh, we got the hoops. Yes. I was tossing it. These are cute hoops. That is definitely mahogany jasper. Oh, Dawn, I had a question for you about a thing I saw when I did my book video. And I know I thought I saw you. I did see you. I just don't remember who the designer was that you showed of that piece. And I, I think you sold it. It kind of looked like a piece of a license plate. Remember? It had a number on it. <laughs> don't remember what designer you said. Now I don't remember what designer was in the book. It was a contest, of course, the med Metal Smith. Metal Smiths of America do this annual contest. And they have these amazing avant-garde designs. 
and one of them was pretty similar to to the one you showed in I think your first or second auction I'm not sure and I was like I think it may even be you know the same designer because it was so similar lots of body jewelry even a toe ring with hearts this is probably sterling no it's not it's just silver tone some old earrings but um yeah you'll have to check out the video and see if you don't see that it's like in the beginning where i'm showing the jewelry usa was the name of that book it's just a catalog of all the winners of the uh, the annual or triannual whatever it is contest that they hold for jewelry designers metalsmiths that's pretty cool okay this one now we did get some matches awesome this was a very expensive jar, $80, but I think it was worth it. I think there was some cool pieces in here. I'm still going. I'm still finding things. I don't like to give up too quickly because I usually find the... Oh, my gosh, all this body jewelry. Look at that. These are all going in a crafter one. <laughs> Somebody will find something to do with all of these. Belly button enhancements. Look at that crazy that's a lot let me look at this this is all gold always look at your gold hoops especially if they're all gold including the stem often they are gold people lost one they just don't know what happened and we'll see you have some scrap gold and uh, this is marked be nice if I found both of them but this one is marked and it's so obscure. I just saw it. Interesting. Okay, here it is. Here it is. 14K. Awesome. All right, let's see if you can see it. Bingo. <laughs> yes, Guillermo. Bingo. That paid for the jar. I'll get at least 40 bucks for this in scrap weight. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there on the stem. 14K. It is the tiniest mark. Oh, awesome, though. Always, 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 if your hoops, any jewelry, actually, but especially the hoops and earrings, if this part is gold, take a look at it under a loop. It will be gold, usually. And I'm glad it's 14 and not 10. It's a little more valuable in scrap weight, especially. Oh, here's a brooch. This is cute. And like I said, in the last jar I opened, there was a broken... Um, I think it was a box chain and it was pretty nice, but it didn't have the the clasp. And that's chains are super expensive to repair and they usually don't do a great job of it and they usually break again. So I rarely ever, if ever, repair chains unless they're especially the delicate ones, if it's a big old mariner or something, of course, but otherwise I just scrap them. This is a cute little brooch. It doesn't appear to be too old, but I love the small brooches. It has some baguettes, kind of a blue topaz color. It's a little tulip or something. I don't know, some kind of flower. So that's cute. Another ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is enameled. It is 925. Nice. Very nice. Boy, I thought it was copper. See how copper even gets that um and i'm gonna i don't believe these are diamonds they're probably cz's gets that uh, almost rainbow and almost coppery look when it gets so patinaed but bingo again guys there's the 925 inside nice we paid for the jar for sure let's see who else is in here yes i know you had it miss miss dawn i know you did in one of your auctions because I remember you said something about it and it was just you know really avant-garde and it had like a number it looked like somebody just cut up a license plate or something it was so cool and uh, and it there's one that's very similar but it almost looks like the shape of a state as well and I believe it was also a, a neck piece all right bingo on the brain guys it's sterling nice okay we get these pretty often. I'm starting to put these in crafter lots too if they're really not um, interesting enough to 
to list or they show a little wear, so that will definitely go in a crafter as well. And let me see, let me see, let me see. Gosh, I sure wish I would have found, but you know what? I did find a few jars, so it might be in another jar. The one with the um, long leaves, I really like that one. The earring, I love that bead cuff, that was cute. Oh, we did get these matched up, these are pretty. The copper dangles, those were pretty, I like those too. Here, I was hoping I would find the match to that one. That one was really pretty. More body jewelry. And that appears to be the jar, guys. I sure appreciate you coming in. A couple of more things. Here's a chain. It's another curve. That's pretty, though. Good condition. Is that sterling? No, this is um, Chaps, I think. Express. This is Express. That's cute, though. So that appears to be it. If I find anything else strewn along the sides here, I will bring you an update, of course. Here's another single. But yeah, lots of single earrings. But we got the money back with um, these interesting rings. This one's silver tone. The 925 and the little scrap gold. Can't beat that at all. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, come back for some more recorded videos. I'm going to do some shorter jewelry jar videos because I've got some bags that are $40. So we go through those pretty quickly. I can probably... Drop a couple of 30-minute videos on you. Don't forget to hit the notifications so that you will never miss another video. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.